If I would have asked you when you were 12 years old where you want to play college football, if you could play anywhere in the world, what would you have said? It would have been, uh, it would have been Alabama. Why? Uh, when I was 12, I went to the camp, and the first person to talk to me and give me advice and stuff like that, told me they going to start recruiting me, was Curry Smart. And from there, I just knew I wanted to, you know, to be one of my coaches. So, you know, like so if Kirby was still at Alabama, where would you be right now? I probably would be Alabama. Not right now. And so I believe by the time I get there, they would have two national championships. Two of them, huh? Yes, sir. How are they going to win two before you get there? Is that going to be run game, throw game, everything, what? Mixture of all. Mixture of all. So Big Julian, when, uh, when yeah, did bro. he know you were heading and what was his reaction? I think he knew uh, when I had signedly committed uh, three weeks ago. I think Coach Trey told him. Did uh, he reach out to you? Uh, he, he didn't reach out to me yet, but when I went down there, you know, he was, he was jumping around and stuff like that. He was excited and stuff like that. You're but, uh, smiling really big. Obviously, oh, yeah, because that's call. my brother, man. When people, people in Powder Springs, you know, they compare me to Julian a lot. You know, I wear, I wear the number. I'm big just like him. And, uh, and my goal really is to be better than him, do more than he did in high school. Can you put your finger on the final straw? What was the final thing that pushed George over the top? Connection. Finally realized, you know, these type of coaches I want to be around help me get better at my position and stuff like that. Like, I, it was probably, I don't know, maybe it was last year mm -hmm. you were at a game. And, you know, I like to take pictures of guys with my long lens up in the stands. Yep. And the look, on, the look on your face was like, you know, what everybody says, get you a girl that looks at you, get you somebody that looks at you the way yeah. Jamil looks at Georgia or something like that. Yeah. I could tell that that was already, you were just sitting there going like. I was just admiring the atmosphere. Like, the atmosphere is crazy. That kind of like you fall in love with the chance to play at Georgia right there? Yeah. It was. You're probably the only person you know that recognized that. I, <laughs> I, can, <laughs> I can see it. I love my mom. Mom, I love you. Um. And that's just, she's just so proud of him. Where would you be without her? What if you had a two-star mom? You know, it's really hard. It's really hard to, you know, think about because it's hard to think about having a mom like that. Uh, really don't know where I would be. Really don't know. Just, you know Favorite food in the world to eat? Wings. Hot wings. Hot wings? How many can you eat at one time? At one time? Yeah. Ten. T only ten at one time? Yeah. A best movie you've ever seen? Friday. Favorite pair of shoes? Nike. Nike guy? Yes, sir. Uh, if you go out on a date with any woman in the world, who would it be? Rihanna. Rihanna, huh? Call me. Call me. Call me. <laughs> if, you could, uh, if you scored a touchdown and end zone dances were allowed, what would you bust out? Would you be a guy that had an end zone dance or what? Should I show you? Show me, man. Actually, you know, it would be, you know, everybody know my dance. I do a whole lot of dances and stuff like that. So I'd probably, you know, uh. <laughs> you you go to Ray Lewis, huh? <laughs> yeah, so like that. So we like call that, it the so. Jamil, right? Yeah. Very good, very good. Do you remember when he when he offered you? Who offered you for Georgia? Was it Coach Scott or was it? It was Coach uh, Smart. He had put me into the weight room at the camp. Uh, after my freshman year, he was like, uh, "How how big are you?" And I was told him and stuff like that. He said, "Well, you got your offer." I was like, "Wow!" I was really amazing. My dream school is my first offer. All right, guys, Dog Nation, that's a good meet and greet with Jamil Burroughs. Uh, everybody calls you Mill, right? Yes, sir. A big meal, you know. Or oh, JB, you know, I got a lot of nicknames. So. JB the Freak, right? Yep, JB the Freak. <laughs> <laughs> Go, Dogs. Thanks, Jamil. Appreciate your time, sir. Yes, sir.